a former classmate of the chief of the general staff of the Russian Federation, Valery Gerasimov, was found murdered in his home. The body, wrapped in a carpet, was discovered by the police who were called by the wife of the murdered man who could not get into his home. This was reported by the publication Business Online. The publication says that retired Russian Armed Forces Colonel Valery Kakin, who at one time held the position of deputy head of the Kazan Tank School, was killed. Death occurred as a result of multiple stab wounds. The murder victim was found by police officers who responded to a call from Maria Gorchunova, the owner of the apartment and wife of Valery Kakin. A criminal case was opened on the fact of the murder. There is no information yet on how the investigation is progressing. There is no information about what happened in open sources. It is only known that the murdered man celebrated Tanker's Day the day before at the school where he had previously worked and where graduates traditionally gathered on that day. After the event, he went home where he stayed alone for the night since his wife was at the dacha at that time from where she returned on the day of the crime. According to media reports, the Kremlin has turned its attention to Gerasimov's people. On May the 23rd, it became known that Lieutenant General Vadim Shamarin was detained in the Russian Federation. He is involved in a bribery case. Law enforcement agencies say that Shamarin's home was also searched. It is known that Shamarin's case is being heard by the 235th Military Court. Back in 2020, Deputy Chief of the Russian General Staff Aslanov was arrested in a bribery case. In 2024, two of Shoigu's deputies, Ivanov and Kuznetsov, were already detained. It is possible that the Kremlin will not stop there. Experts stated that Belusov could leave only two or three people from Shoigu's former circle in the Russian Defense Ministry. More than 140 Ukrainian drones targeted multiple Russian regions overnight, including Moscow and surrounding areas, killing at least one person, officials said Tuesday. A woman died and three people were injured in the town of Ramenskoy, just outside Moscow, where drones hit two multi-story residential buildings and started fires, Moscow Region Governor Andrei Vorobyev said. Five residential buildings were evacuated due to falling drone debris, Vorobyev said. The incident was one of the biggest drone attacks on Russian soil in the two-and-a-half-year conflict. The attack prompted the authorities to temporarily shut down three airports just outside Moscow, Nukovo, Domodedovo, and Zukovsky. A total of 48 flights were diverted to other airports, according to Russia's civil aviation authority, Rosaviatsia. It was the second massive Ukrainian drone attack on Russia this month. On September 1, the Russian military said it intercepted 158 Ukrainian drones over more than a dozen Russian regions in what Russian media described as the biggest Ukrainian drone barrage since the start of the conflict in 2022. Russia, meanwhile, has pummeled Ukraine with missiles, glide bombs and its own drones, killing over 10,000 civilians, according to the United Nations. Ukraine has invested a lot of effort in developing domestic drone production, extending the drone's range, payload and uses. It has increasingly used drone blitzes to slow Russia's advances, disrupt Russian society and poke the Kremlin. Вот, вот этот дом. Вот это 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 д